Hall is the American Red Cross Disaster Manager for Ulster County and a member of Woodstock's Emergency Rescue Squad. He has worked as a consultant in crisis management and conflict resolution in Asia, the Middle East, Europe, and Africa, and as project director for Project Hope, a disaster mental health and community resilience outreach program of mental health associates of Ulster County. Uh, I'm going to try to do this without a microphone. Uh, so again, my name is Michael Raphael, um, and I'm really here to make a really short presentation to kind of give you an idea. This whole, this, the cart and the, the, the animal uh, sheltering uh, group is part of a larger context of a human services uh, disaster, disaster human services committee, which uh, its role is to really look at the different aspects of a disaster and what are the and what are the functions that the community can support emergency management and other uh, first responders or FEMA or other organizations that are coming in? There is a major role for us as a community to play. Now um, we've started this. I just want to kind of explain why we started this. Um, and I think people people remember Irene, right? All of us remember the experiences of Irene. All of us remember the experiences of Sandy, uh, which is the later one where 24 states were affected. Um, so we know that uh, the upstate floods, I don't know if you guys heard about them, but last year uh, upstate there were large areas that were flooded, inundated with floods, waters. So what's very clear is that we're moving in into a new reality for New York State, and upstate New York is experiencing much more severe, and I'm not gonna get into the debate, is there climate change, is there not climate change, but let's just state that we are experiencing some major severe storms. And as Art was saying, an emergency management is a coordinating position, and really we need to, and the, as the Red Cross, as, a organi as a large volunteer organization, we are going to need the help of the community to be able to meet the needs of the, our clients in the best way. Uh, what we're seeing is, is that there are a lot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip, there's a lot of different activities that the community can support, emergency management, the Red Cross and other service organizations, um, that are gonna be needed to be done during a disaster. So if you can look at that, you can think about sheltering, you can think about feeding, you can think about bulk distribution, family reunification, of course, animal sheltering, that's why you're all here. But the idea is that what we're trying to do as the Red Cross um, and other service organization, other not-for-profits in the community, is to try to engage the community to take some responsibility for the needs that are gonna be after an impact of a disaster. This is great to see so many of you here that are so proactive and are, and are out there to, to help animals, but I can say that the needs extend far beyond the animals and there are needs uh, for people who have functional and medical needs. There are needs out there for people in your communities, uh, of people who don't know about emergency management, uh, people who don't speak the same language, uh, people who may not just have the access to information. So there's a lot of activities out there in our community that we can use your help. So I'm very happy that you're here for the animals and I, I hope that you're gonna have a very successful, thank you for taking your time and coming out here, uh, but I hope you'll get involved with the other uh, activities that we have in disaster response and recovery, um, and I hope that you have a very fruitful night. So thank you very much.